a bespoke garment. Why should one have a bespoke garment as opposed to custom garment? So, live example. In the last um, two months, I've lost about seven kilos of weight, which is around four inches on my waist. So this is a garment that was made when I was seven kilos heavier. I have corrected it. I've taken it in about two, two and a half inches on the waist. As you can see, my shirt is so loose. Now for shirts, we have limitation because the collar size needs to be changed. We have to change the collar. I'll make new shirts. I'm happy about that. But for the jacket, look at this. I lost weight here on the chest, on the waist and the hips. But as you can see, the garment still fits good. Why? Because of this, the skeleton on the inside. The skeleton, meaning the canvas, the hair canvas, brings the shape. A custom-made jacket does not have a skeleton on the inside. They only have a very short skeleton and the rest of the, um, what you call it, volume which is created is by sticking a canvas on the back side. It's called a fused jacket. Whereas in a custom garment, the volume is created by fusing and interlining on the backside at a high temperature, it has a glue in the middle. Inevitably, you do get a bit of volume but and stability, but you do not get the shape because here the canvas, which is actually quite robust, but it's, um, it's light, it's not very heavy. Back in the days, it used to be heavy, but now we get lightweight canvases, which can be molded and shaped. Here, look at the darts, look at the cuts we create. So we take a two-dimensional canvas and cut it up, base it up and create a 3D structure. So the skeleton, ladies and gentlemen, as we call it, the full canvas, is the key to a bespoke garment. And as you can see, it's still whole shape. My shoulders have gone in, my chest has gone in, my waist has gone in, uh, lost seven kilos of fat. I'm very proud about that. I'll probably gain about two inches more, but I've kept a little bit of looseness. And as you can still see, the garment fits. Another thing, the fabric that I've selected for this is also structured. So not only does the canvas or the skeleton give me good shape, the fabric also holds shape. So when you decide that you're ready to make a bespoke garment, please make sure you go to somebody who's professional, somebody who can guide you on selecting the right fabric that is right for you. And when you wear it, it looks good on you and it functions properly. And please do the tests. If it rolls and this fabric feels as thin as the fabric on the sleeve, it's a bespoke garment, but not only on the lapel. Sometimes they will, some of the tailors will keep this area canvas, but this area not canvas. So if this area, if you can pinch it apart and there's a canvas on the inside and this fabric and this fabric, the front and the back is as thin as the sleeve, ladies and gentlemen, that's a bespoke garment. So bespoke versus custom, no comparison.